Hello everyone, this is Neha from Completely Handmade. Today I am here showing you a technique which is a part of my technique of the month video. And uh, today we are going to do this beautiful technique uh, using which I have created this card. And uh, it's called uh, embossing through embossing through a stencil. So I have used a lot of embossing paste over here and then applied some color on it. And uh, I have created this card using the, uh, the background. So basically using this technique, you can create beautiful backgrounds and then die cut word word dies through it or as i have done just die cut some shapes and create a beautiful card out of it so uh, along with this i have also created a matching envelope i'll let you know later on how i did that so let's see how to do the uh, background first to do the background you need some kind of a cardstock here i'm using stratmode bristol smooth paper and then you'll need a stencil I'm using the Delusions basically square stencil. Along with that, you'll need some kind of a texture paste or modeling paste. So I'm using golden modeling paste. And then uh, you'll need some colors to create uh, the background. So I'm using a couple of PH Martin uh, colors and you'll see how I create the background later on. Uh, you also need some water. So I'm using it through the distress sprayer. You'll need a palette knife. And you will need a paintbrush of some sort. So let's begin with the first step that is embossing through a stencil. So I, I'm roughly placing the stencil onto the cardstock here. I am turning the stencil of uh, the paper on the top and applying some washi tape, small pieces of washi tape onto the sides of the stencil so that uh, the paper does not move. Now to keep this entire thing placed in one spot onto my, my craft mat, I am putting 2-3 more pieces of washi tape onto it. Now let's begin do the stenciling. So here is how the modeling paste looks like. I am taking a cup, a small tad bit of it and I start applying it on the entire cardstock front I'm smoothing out the surface after I apply the modeling paste Applying it on the remaining spots wherever I see that there's a blank and smoothing out again. It does not need a lot of modeling paste or uh, texture paste. Um, you see I had taken a lot but this is what I'm left with. I'm scraping it onto the bottle. You want to immediately wash off your stencil. So before doing that, I'm just going to clean my spatula with a paper towel. And I'm going to peel off the stencil from the surface. So this is how you do it. And there you're, you're left with a nice texture on your paper. I'm going to very slowly pick it up with my spatula, I guess show you in close up how that looks like I hope you guys can see it I am going to clean off the edges which look uneven remove the washi tape pieces You want to do this really very carefully so that you don't mess up your piece. I messed it up a little bit over here but that's okay. It does not look that much that bad when it dries up. So I'm going to let this dry and quickly wash off the stencil and my surface and come back in a couple of minutes. 
so now that my piece is all dried up uh, I'm going to try to color it up and I am using the same exact colors that I used for this particular card and the colors that I'm using are from PH Martin Hydrus colors and um, these are said to be uh, archival colors they are color fast and they're really very very concentrated so you don't need a lot of color the uh, the shades that I'm that I'm using are I'm going to re read out the numbers it's 6 H then 7H, I hope you can you guys can see it. So it's 6H, 7H, okay. And then there's this dark blue color. It's almost, it's ultramarine. Um, it's 8H. And then there's this violet color, cobalt violet, 9H. So these are all the colors that I'm going to use. Um, and I've taken some clean water in this tub. And uh, I'm going to mist the paper using uh, some water through the distress sprayer. And um, I changed my brush, which I had shown you at the beginning. Because the piece is so small, I don't want to use a big brush. And uh, let's start with it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is arrange these colors onto my craft mat just take a drop of each color and i'm i'm going to do like a gradient so i'm shaking the bottle so that the pigment mixes and i'm just going to take like a drop of the color just one drop that much be enough for the entire panel the second color is this uh blue seven edge I'm arranging them in order so that that's the order that I'm going to follow on this particular panel, okay? Then this ultramarine blue and then this violet. I think these are too much but still I'm just going to go with it and play along. I'm just going to put this on the side because I'm going to mist the paper here I like the distress sprayer, sprayer because it has this lock functionality I traveled with it recently and I really loved it that it did not leak any liquid through it in the travel so I'm wetting my brush a little bit with water and I'm tapping it off on, on my towel and then picking up the first color and just swiping it through do you see how bright and bold it is and you will see that the color catches on the texture and um, mixes and uh, around it so here I am kind of blending both the colors I can go back and blend it a little bit more I'm I will have to wash my brush to get rid of the blue and the green so that I can go on the darker blue I love this ultramarine blue, it's so vibrant. And then the purple. Rather than using a pattern paper, I really like to create my own backgrounds so that, you know, I can customize according to my requirement. I'm going to get my heat gun so that we can dry it up quickly. 